Almost three weeks ago, someone asked me what was my earliest memory where I was completely happy. I remember sitting there for five minutes trying to dig in my head for an answer. And when I realized I couldn't find an answer, suddenly that became one of the saddest questions anyone has ever asked me. As a 20-something year old, I was told my 20s are supposed to be some of the best years of my life. And yet it doesn't feel like that. I have also heard that your 20s is the best time to make mistakes, it's the best time to discover yourself, and it's the best time to follow your dreams. The general consensus is that nothing matters as much as you think it does when you're in your 20s. That's wild to me because that's the same thing that was said to me when I was in my teenage years. Everything that went wrong in my teenage life felt really big, unstoppable, and life-ending. But all the adults around me would say that it's not that big of a deal. When you grow up, you will look back and laugh at yourself. And that those little things didn't matter as much as I thought they did. And they were right. Now I look back and I'm like, what was I crying about when it really didn't matter in the long run? But at that stage in my life... My brain could not comprehend anything they were talking about because everything felt so big. So when people say that my life crises in my 20s don't matter as much as I think they do, I am still left very confused and discombobulated. And I cannot absorb those wise words without reflecting on myself and how I, as a human being, am deeply flawed. I am the type of person who thinks that one little thing not going according to plan in my life is going to make me a complete failure. I spiral uncontrollably when I feel at something and that's one of my flaws that I've been trying to work on really hard for the past year. As an immigrant, the whole follow your dream concept is hard for me to understand, it's hard for me to grasp because if I follow my dreams, I will have to struggle for a long time to be financially stable. That is just something that I don't want to sacrifice and something that I don't want to risk. It doesn't even seem like an option because people around me are counting on me to be successful. I just feel terrible disappointing them and disappointing myself. I I really wish there was a guide on how to be happy in your 20s. I'm graduating from college soon and I have no idea what I want to do with my life. I know this is such a unique concept, so mind-blowing. It's not something that anyone has ever gone through. If you can tell, I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> Right now, every decision that I make in my life feels like it matters a lot, even though it probably shouldn't. And being a new adult with only a few years of experience is giving me whiplash. Sometimes I feel like I'm five. Sometimes I feel like a child who has no idea what they're doing. On the other hand, I have to make all these big, life-changing decisions. So to circle back to the question that I was asked three weeks ago, which was what was your earliest memory of complete happiness my answer to that question was the first time that i was completely happy just serene tranquility and happiness radiating throughout my body was when i was in new york last year which was when i was 20. <laughs> i know it's so sad because i should have an early of memory like when i was like three four or five i don't know just when i was younger but i just don't have any memories where i felt that way last year when i was in new york we went to this park um governor's island actually it has a hammock park in there and i took the fattest nap i've ever taken in my life on that hammock and i just remember swinging from side to side on that hammock as the sun was literally burning my skin that's probably not a good thing and i hope i was wearing sunscreen that day but the feeling of just being completely free being in nature under a tree with just me absorbing the sun rays and just enjoying myself and taking a nap i just remember being so free and so happy and it's a feeling that i'm always searching for it's a feeling that i never take for granted when i feel it nowadays i try to do at least two things that make me happy every single day 
That includes listening to music, talking to my friends, and hitting new milestones at the gym. In the end, I just hope that I'm making all the right decisions for myself and my future. And I hope one day it all makes sense and all comes full circle. But until then, I'm just going to try and enjoy my life as it is right now. It's very boring, like there's nothing interesting going on. There was a time that I used to be a perpetual pessimist about the state of the world, but I have decided that life is too short to live that way. I can't be saltier than a saltine all the time. <laughs> so I have decided to just try and be happy, even if it means one glimpse of happiness a day. Anyway, thank you so much for everyone who has stuck by my channel for the last year without me uploading and stuff. I'm really sorry about that.